So Google just revealed their new Android XR glasses at their IO event. And trust me, this is nothing like the Google Glass disaster from over a decade ago. This time, they might have actually nailed it. So I'm going to break down everything we know about these glasses, from the crazy AI features to how they might actually change how we interact with technology. And stick around to the end because I'll also share my honest thoughts on whether these are worth getting excited about or if this is just another tech gimmick. So what exactly are these new glasses? Well, basically, Google has been working on smart glasses for over 10 years, and they finally created something that looks like regular glasses, but it's packed with some seriously next level tech. These Android XR glasses are designed to be worn all day long and work alongside your phone. They've got cameras, microphones, speakers, and this is the cool part. Some models have an option in lens display that can show you information privately right in your field of vision. I was surprised to find out that they actually come in three different versions. There's a basic model with no display, a mid-tier version with a display in one lens called a monocular, then the premium versions with displays in both lenses, a binocular. Now they support prescription lenses too, so you don't have to worry about having to choose between seeing clearly and having cool tech. Now what makes these glasses special though, is that they're built from the ground up to work with Google Gemini's AI. It's like having an AI assistant that sees what you see and hears what you hear all day long. I mean, imagine you're having your own personal Jarvis from Iron Man, but it's on your face. So let's get into what these glasses can actually do, because this is where it gets interesting. During the Google demo, their employee Nisha showed how these glasses work backstage at the IO event. The most basic stuff is pretty cool already. You can see notifications, respond to texts, and take photos without ever taking your phone out of your pocket. But that's just the beginning. One feature that genuinely had me saying wow out loud was the visual memory capability. In one demonstration, someone briefly looked at the bookshelf, turned away, and then asked the Gemini what was the title of the book on the shelf behind me. And the glasses actually remembered and told them. I came across another article that also mentioned how the glasses can even help you find your lost hotel keycard. And as someone who's constantly misplacing things, this alone would be worth it for me. Let's actually step it up a notch with something we call memory. For a rolling contextual window, the AI remembers what you see without having to be told what to keep track of. So you guys may have noticed I snuck a peek back at the shelf a moment ago. I wasn't paying attention, but let's see if Gemini was. Hey, did you happen to catch the title of the white book that was on the shelf behind me? The White Book is Atomic Habits by James Clear. <laughs> that is absolutely right. Now the translation features a next level too. The glasses can translate the text you're looking at in real time. But what's even more impressive is that they can translate spoken conversations on the fly. During the demo, two people were speaking different languages, one in Hindi and one in Farsi. And the glasses were translating everything in real time with subtitles. It's kind of like having subtitles for real life. Nishta and I are going to speak to each other in our mother tongues. Nishta's going to speak Hindi. I'm going to speak Farsi very poorly. And you'll see the feed from both of our glasses back here. And so you can all follow along. We'll show an English translation in real time. OK, let's give it a shot. Fingers crossed. Besiyar <laughs> <laughs> we said it's a risky demo. <laughs> Let's. <laughs> Thank you. I also learned that the navigation features are pretty sweet. Instead of staring down your phone while walking, the glasses can display turn by turn directions in your field of view, with 3D maps overlaid on the real world. It's like having the navigation from a video game, but in real life. And get this when you take photos with the glasses, you can instantly see the preview right in front of your eyes. No more taking out your phone to check if everyone's eyes were open. Hey, Gemini, what have I missed in the Besties group chat? Me and Sarah are discussing meeting later today at Geo's Pizza to celebrate Kelsey's promotion and are wondering if you can make it. Are there any vegan options there? Yes. Reviews now, rave about the mushroom penny pasta. The technology Great. Behind the magic. Tell the group I'll be there. 
<laughs> oh, and can you send the pic of the blue dress to let them know what I'll be wearing tonight? How's this? Awesome. Send it. Is there a store where I can get a card for Kelsey nearby? Serendipity cards is a good choice. Let's go. So how does all of this actually work? Let's get into the tech side of things. First, I should mention that these aren't standalone devices. They connect to your Android phone, which handles most of the processing. This is actually smart because it means that the glasses themselves can be lighter and have better battery life. According to what I've read, they're supposed to last all day on a single charge, though I'm guessing that depends on how much you use them. The physical design is pretty interesting too. Unlike the original Google Glass, which looks super obvious and kind of dorky, these new glasses are designed to look more like regular eyewear. They still have thicker arms and rims than normal glasses, but they're way less conspicuous than previous attempts at smart glasses. I was also surprised to figure out that Google isn't working on this alone. They've partnered with Samsung to develop the Android XR platform, and they've announced partnerships with eyewear brands like Gentle Monster and Wabi Parker to create stylish versions of these glasses. And in the future, they're planning to work with Kering Eyewear too. Now, this is a smart move because honestly, if these things don't look good, nobody's going to wear them no matter how cool the tech is. The real star of the show, though, is how Gemini AI is integrated into these glasses. This AI does not just respond to the commands. It actively understands what you're looking at and the context around you. It can recognize objects, read text, understand multiple language, and even remember things you saw a few minutes ago. This goes way beyond the capabilities of other smart glasses on the market. So what do I really think about the future of AR glasses? Well, I've got to be honest, I was actually pretty skeptical when I first heard about these glasses and I saw the demos a few months ago. I mean, the Google Glass from 10 years ago was so bad that I didn't really have the best expectations coming into this. And I do own a pair of Meta Ray-Ban glasses that are pretty good, but there isn't that much AI capability in them. But after digging into all the features and looking at the expected upgrades across the industry, including Meta and Google, I'm actually genuinely excited for the future of AR glasses. The timing also feels right too. Back when Google Glass came out, the technology just wasn't there yet, especially on the AI side. Now, with the advances in Gemini, more powerful but efficient processors and better display technology, smart glasses might finally be ready for prime time. And I came across this interesting point in an article that I was reading. These glasses solve actual problems that people have in their daily lives. Need directions? You can look them up. Can't understand a foreign language? The glasses translate it. If you lost something, the glasses remember where you put it. These are real use cases that make your life easier and aren't just gimmicks. That said, there's still some pretty big questions. Google hasn't announced pricing or release date yet, but I can bet you they won't be cheap. The binocular display version especially is going to cost you a pretty penny. And there are also privacy concerns. How comfortable will people be knowing that someone wearing those glasses could be recording them? Google says there's an LED light that lights up when the camera is active, but is that enough? Battery life, of course, is another concern. Sure, they say it lasts all day, but what does that mean in practice? An hour of active use? Eight hours? What happens when the battery dies? Are you just stuck wearing dead tech on your face? Despite these questions, I'm actually pretty optimistic. This feels like one of those technologies that could genuinely change how we interact with the world around us. It's not just about having a screen close to your eyes, it's about having an AI assistant that sees what you see and can help you navigate the world more easily. So there you have it, Google's new Android XR glasses. They're coming later this year and developers will be able to start building for them soon. Google is already testing prototypes with trusted testers, which I'm guessing means Google employees and maybe some selected partners. What do you guys